Captain's log, Stardate 14. We're being pulled towards a hostile planet. I'm hoping that Scotty will be able to activate the backup control system. God, I feel so vulnerable. Captain, I'm picking up some strange signals. Something about intergalactic oppressors, sir. Captain, intruders are approaching the bridge, sir. Who are you? I am the Minister Louis Farrakhan. Spock, who is he? A former Calypso singer, Captain. Who later became leader of a 20th century African-American religious sect known as the Nation of Islam. Would you like to buy some incense? Bean pie, my brother? No, thank you. What do you want? I've come to warn your crew. Warn your, your crew. Of their enslavement. Enslavement. Aboard this vessel. Mm -hmm. That's... Poppycock, these people are perfectly free to do anything they like. It is that same lie that kept Elvis the king, that made that poor child Latoya Jackson think she could sing. It is that same lie that's got white boys rapping and the fat boys acting. Hey, mister, you can't go in here and talk to me like that. Ahura, get me Starfleet Command. Yes, Captain. Oh, my Nubian princess. How long have you placed his cause? I watch the show every week, and all I see is the back of your nappy wig. Ohura, Starfleet, now. Well, wait a second. He's right. I've been sitting here for 15 years with this damn thing in my ear. your little secretary or your occasional chocolate fantasy you get up off your flat butt and get starfleet your damn self because i ain't but yes sister mr zulu call scotty tell him to get this man out of here wait a minute mr zulu before you touch that dial answer me this question who does the laundry around here <laughs> I do. Mr. Zulu. Well, you call me Buddha head and pie face in front of everybody. Well, I've been in space all this time, and I haven't had one woman yet. You even take the ugly ones, Captain. My loins are about to explode. I want to do the nasty. <laughs> That's right, rise up, rise up. Mr. Spock, my friend, we've got to do something. Why do you say we, Caucasoid? It's obvious, Captain, that Minister Farrakhan is right. Spock, are you out of your falcon mind? Well, logically speaking, Captain, I am the strongest and most intelligent person aboard this vessel, yet I'm only second in command. Mm -hmm. I should be Captain, and I'm also a better director than you. Oh. Can't you see it's discrimination? You get off my ship, buddy. Put your puny weapon down, Captain. You cannot harm me. My people have survived 400 years of slavery. Slavery? 300 years of apartheid. Apartheid? And 25 years of the Jeffersons in syndication. <laughs> Go to your room. Uh -huh. Oh, I love it when I do that to them. <laughs> Nubian princess, call Sylvia Soul Food Shack, make reservations. I got a taste for some black and white fish. <laughs> Mr. Sulu, what are you gonna have? Sylvia. <laughs> well, all right then, my horny Asian brother, walk back to five. We're going home, destination 125th Street.